What is Rate of Reaction by kscience.com? Rate of reaction just means the speed at which a chemical reaction takes place. The word rate means how fast or how slow something happens. And the reaction is when reactants form new products. The bonds between the atoms in the reactants break and new bonds form to make new products. So the rate of reaction is just how fast or how slow a chemical reaction takes place. For example, an explosion has a very fast rate of reaction, as does combustion. In both chemical reactions, the reactants are used up very quickly and the products are made very quickly. Another chemical reaction, which is slower than the first two, is magnesium and hydrochloric acid. As they react, there is fizzing, which means a gas is given off, and in this case is hydrogen gas. This chemical reaction is relatively fast compared to other chemical reactions, but much slower compared to combustion and an explosion. An example of a slower chemical reaction is rusting. This is where iron reacts with water and oxygen to form an orangey brown colour. We say explosions and combustion have a high or fast rate of reaction as their chemical reactions happen very quickly. Whereas rusting has a low or slow rate of reaction as rusting happens very slowly. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Rate of reaction is very important in industry. Let's say we have factory A and factory B, where they both produce the same product. Now, the owner of factory A uses a faster rate of reaction, and the owner of factory B uses a slower rate of reaction. Now, both owners have the same amount of time in the day to produce their product. So over 12 hours, factory A are able to produce more product because they have a faster rate of reaction. Whereas in the same amount of time, factory B produce less product as they have a slower rate of reaction. This means factory A have more product to sell, so have more profits, so they have more money made. Whereas factory B have less product to sell, so earn less money they have less money made. So we can see how a faster rate of reaction is very important in industry. Measuring the rate of reaction is done by measuring how quickly the reactants are used up or how quickly the products are formed. We can show our results on a graph by plotting time in seconds on the x-axis and concentration in grams per decimeter cubed on the y-axis. We can see the blue line clearly shows the concentration increases with time. If you ever see a variable such as concentration increasing, this means products are forming. So here we can write products. This pink line starts at a higher concentration and decreases throughout the reaction until the concentration is zero. If you ever see a curve where the concentration or variable is decreasing, this means the reactants are being used up. This tangent shows the steepest part of the curve is the fastest rate of reaction. This is the easiest and quickest way to measure the rate of reaction on any curve on a rate of reaction graph. Where the curve is less steep, this means the rate of reaction slows down. Where the curve is flat or horizontal, this means the reaction has stopped, as no more product is forming. These same rules apply to where reactants are being used up. Where the curve is the steepest, 
This is the fastest rate of reaction. As the curve becomes less steep, the rate is slowing down. And where the curve is flat or horizontal, this means there are no more reactants to be used up, so the reaction has stopped. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Calculating the rate of reaction is done by using an equation. The mean rate of reaction equals the mass of the reactants or the mass of products divided by the time. The unit of mass is grams and the unit of time is seconds. Let's go through an example where it's the mass of reactant used. For example, if the mass is 2.5 grams, and the time is 124 seconds. As the equation says, mass of reactants divided by time, you do 2.5 divided by 124. This equals 0 0.02 grams per second. The unit of rate of reaction is grams per second. This means how many grams are being used up or formed per second. The more grams used or formed per second, the higher the rate of reaction. Let's now apply this equation when we're thinking about mass of product formed. For example, if the mass is 3.25 grams and the time is 15 seconds, we do 3.25 divided by 15, which equals 0 0.217 grams per second. The higher the number, the faster the rate of reaction. The lower the number, the slower the rate of reaction. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com. For more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.